lights were flickering inside the refrigerator. And I thought that was strange. I had never seen it before. But what really creeped me out was the light in the bathroom started flickering. And I heard water running. So I kind of snuck around the corner and the water was on. As I started to walk away from the bathroom after cutting the water off, I kind of heard something behind me. And that was actually this door here that closed. That's when I really, truly got freaked out. Cody walks outside and calls his girlfriend to tell her what's been going on. She tells him to stay out of the house. I said, well, look, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to keep filming because I don't know what to expect. And when he does, he finds the kitchen in total disarray. All the chairs were on the floor, knocked over. All the cabinets were open. Nope, 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 nope. I said, nope, I'm going, I'm going back outside. And this, I don't know what this is. I, I got scared. After two hours, Cody finally musters up the courage to go back inside the house. I went through every single room looking for somebody, thinking maybe somebody had gotten in and they were just trying to scare me. I checked every room under every bed. He doesn't find anyone. The fourth or fifth time I had watched the video, I noticed something in the corner of the room, which is actually my daughter's room. So I screenshotted it and I just zoomed in on it. My heart just dropped. I could feel my face, all the blood in my face ran. I mean, it just, it scared me. It just looked like somebody watching me. I didn't sleep that night. If I captured something like that, I would not be going back in my home. I mean, at all, without a team of investigators and possibly a priest for exorcism purposes. This is such a classic horror movie moment. Nope, 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 nope. As humans, we assume to look around at our eye level and see what's going on. So we are missing the thing that's right above us. And in this case, that's the scariest part. I often talk about spirits in the home being benevolent, being helpful, not to panic. But when I see something like this, when I see that upside down head peering, into the main room, I got to admit, a part of me does start to panic. This face in the door frame is coupled with all of this poltergeist activity. That's an escalation. And what's so scary about that is if it's a poltergeist, this isn't like some ghost trying to talk to you. This is a manifestation of the house. Like this is, the house has created that image for you to see.